All right, so congratulations to uh, Stephen Rose, Texans fans. That's the Stephen Rose, like the leader of the, those fans. He's probably the best fan of all of them. I really don't know anybody else, but congratulations, to Stephen Rose, and all of our Kicks fans on YouTube, Twitter, anywhere. Doesn't matter. Just congratulations to all of them. They beat us twenty-four to six. Their defense pretty much owned our O line, and so did JJ Watt. It seemed like JJ Watt was had constant pressure on uh, Breeze, Don Drew. He only sacked him twice, but that Streif matchup, Pete, man, I mean, he's a beast, okay? He's probably one of the best defensive players in the game. And when they were one and when they were struggling, I was like, oh my God, he's not, he, he's not as good. He's overrated. But now that they're six and five, he's good. It just shows you how the media's messed up. But congratulations. And then the defense has shut us down immediately. Our offense scored six points. Our defense, though, I like this. Even though we gave up 24 points, it seemed like their first quarter, 14 nothing. Then they was it 14 nothing and 21 nothing, or it was like 14 nothing, and then I think we scored a field goal. Nevertheless, our defense looked like, uh oh, we're about to sell the shark again. But we only gave up 24 points as our first quarter. In the second half, I liked how our defense played. Okay, DeAndre Hopkins wasn't as explosive as I thought he was going to be. Still, but nevertheless, still they still did score 24 points. Like Brian Hoyer. Had his way. He just went to his other weapons like Cecil Shorts. Everybody else on that team. Uh, Blue. That's the running back. They 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 did whatever they want. I think they were getting kind of conservative at the end of the game. They weren't running up the score, you know what I mean? That's classy of them to do that. <laughs> so, there is some improvement on the defensive side. So, I guess that's promising. A little bit. As far as offense goes, man, you can't you have to blame this game on offense, man. Our defense showed up. I don't think we have number one ranked offense. I think the only reason why we had a number one, number one ranked offense was because of that game against the New York Giants when we scored 52. If we didn't do that, I, we wouldn't be a number ranked offense. I think we were probably down like a fifth after giving up six points, only scoring six points, two field goals. At least Kai Forbath had like a 57 yard. That was shocking. Can't get extra points, but he hit 57 yard field goals. Too. Go figure. Crazy. Play calling, pretty atrocious. Remember the play of the game was um, fourth and two, maybe about like four minutes left in the game or something like that. And we threw it into the end zone, incomplete. Again, we were out, probably going to lose the game anyhow, but. I guess Sean Payton was so caught up in Drew's uh, TV streak. You see, what I would have done, I would have ran the ball of Mark or threw, threw a slant to Brandon Cooks, like a five-yard slant, got us the first down. Then we could have had Drew throw it to somebody and send one of our receivers, I don't know, Watson, Snead, anybody, or Colston. Wouldn't that be that be perfect if it was throw it to Colston? But you know my point. Drew could have still gotten that touchdown, the touchdown for every consecutive streak, whatever. But... He wanted we wanted to make like a splash on it on a fourth and two, so that was kind of distracting. Peyton, Sean Payton did. Um, I hate to say this, but I, I mean, Chris has this guy all year for his play calls. He definitely looks like he he has one foot outdoor. Rumors were, of course, reporters always you can't always trust all sources, but some are saying that some some are saying that he already had he, he already plans to leave the Saints last summer. Like last summer, he plans on leaving them after this season. So, does he have already have one foot out the door? Because the way he's calling games sure looks like he does. It's really disheartening because it almost feels like he's doing it on purpose. Why, why, why would he do that, man? Is it Bounty Gate karma? Man, this team's looking really bad right now, man. Definitely doesn't look like he's to make the playoffs. They're still in. They're not mathematically eliminated because of the, the sorriness of the NFC, especially NFC East. Oh my God, the NFC is so bad. Besides the Carolina Panthers and the many Minnesota Vikings and Arizona Cardinals, everybody else is just yikes. So with that said, congratulations. This looks like almost like a rebuilding period. We'll see what we can do against Carolina next week. That should be interesting. An undefeated team against a four and seven team. Okay, you guys, have a good day, and congratulations, Texans.